So you're thinking about getting a dog, a little puppy. What kind of dog? What would be a good dog for you? How would you like a dog that was a mirror image of you and your needs? Do you think you'd like to get a dog or add a dog to your dog pack? Consider the Yorkshire Terrier. I live with a Yorkshire terrorist. Oh, play on words. I mean terrier. <laughs> My name's Charlotte Hall, and my Yorkie's name is Abby Rosada. Rosada is Italian for laughter. And I named her that because she was four years old on August 8th of this year, and every day she has made me laugh, every day of her life. Can you imagine that, laughing every day for over four years because of a dog? Uh, most terriers are funny. Some are serious, but... I have the uh, pleasure of having a seriously funny dog. Uh, Canine Pepper of Hub Pages said the Yorkie is the second most popular dog owned in the United States. It's the first most popular little dog. The first dog is the Labrador Retriever. Well, let's take a look at the Yorkshire Terrier breed, a.k.a. the Terrorist. Why are they number one? What traits would they have that make them so popular? Did you know there are over 100 terrier breeds recognized in the world today? Of the many types of terrier, the Yorkie is the most popular pet to own for a variety of reasons. So let's look at some of those reasons. Number one, grooming needs. Number two, their intelligence and their temperament. Well, concerning grooming, the Yorkshire Terrier doesn't have fur. They have hair. So you, it will continue to grow and grow, so it does need to be cut if you want to cut it. Um, but you do need to brush it or comb it, and of course shampoo and condition it whenever you do it, at least once a week would be good. And it's the, it's the, the breed does not shed, so there's no hair on your, no fur on your couch, no fur on your clothes. It's an excellent breed for people who are allergic to dog dander. Uh, because they're considered hypoallergenic dogs. Wild Water Wolf of the Daily Puppy in his article How to Groom a Yorkshire Terrier also brings to our attention the need to cut the fur around their eyes. You can either cut it or wrap back into a, a little bow or a barrette to, to keep it out of their eyes. The good thing about that is that you get to see their sparkly little eyes look at you and that just triggers you knowing that they are quick to learn and that they are smart. Well, Stanley Cohen, a professor of psychology, conducted an intelligence test for purebred dogs and his findings are in his book, The Intelligence of Dogs. The results of his testing are on the web in part uh, the YorkieInfoCenter.com website. And although the Yorkshire Terrier came in number 27 out of the 90 breeds tested, that's still above average and they're still counted among the top easy to train, alert, and very smart dogs. If you're looking for a breed that interacts and learns better than 63 other breeds, this is the dog for you. A favorite little thing that Abby and I like to do is I'll take a treat and I'll hold her and we'll go to another part of the house and I'll hide this treat somewhere in the room and I'll point to it and she looks at it. And then we go to another part of the house and we either sit down and watch television or from reading a book in the sunroom, she sits next to me. Then I'll say to her, go get it. And she runs like the devil. She runs over and catches that treat, brings it back to me as fast as she can. And uh, she's so proud of herself for, I know where that treat is. I know where it is. <laughs> She's also learning a vocabulary like toy, puppy, baby, cookie, hear, sit, wait, and more. Another thing that she's learned part of her vocabulary is after we go to the dog park, she has to go take a bath. So I'll say, it's time to take a bath, Abby, and she walks right into the shower stall. She knows she has to take a bath. She loves to be with you. All these terriers love to be with their masters. They don't run away. They do need interaction at times, but their temperament involves more than this. Terriers are known for their abundant energy, and though the Yorkie would love to run and play in open fields like other dogs, they're quite content to sit with you more often than not. And if you go for a walk, they'll walk according to how you walk. There's no 
pulling or straining at the leash and them trying to get their way. They adjust well to city life for that reason. They do not need to get rid of excess energy by running. They like to do what their owners like to do. According to dogscope.com, and I'm going to quote this, the Yorkshire Terrier is an energetic, brave, loyal, and adventurous dog. Yorkies always love to please their owners. It is a very intelligent breed and learns quickly. This is an indoor pet, and it's a good choice for city and apartment life. It needs training to get friendly with younger children. Caution is advised with small pets such as rabbits, birds, rats, etc. because of the breed's hunting instincts. It's a curious breed and is eager to learn. A Yorkie does not accept strangers, which makes it a good watchdog. This breed is very protective about its family. With proper training and patience, a sweet and devoted companion dog can be found in the Yorkshire Terrier. After my Abby sees that I accept a person into my house, she's the first to do a meet and greet. Let me go get a toy and bring it to this person. Oh, I'm so happy that you're here. She doesn't even know the person, but she saw that I accepted them into the house. Uh, anyway, uh, a squeaky toy, a little ball to chase, a rope, a nylon bone, and these dogs are in doggy heaven. Well, why would this be a good breed for you? Why are these little balls of cuddly love the favorite dog in the world? According to Stanley Corin, PhD, contributor to Canine Corner and Psychology Today magazine, he estimated in 2012 that there were 73 million dogs owned in the United States alone. 23% of these dogs are terriers. So when you think that there's 100 breeds of terriers recognized and the number one breed that's owned, out of that 23%, the number one breed owned is the Yorkshire Terrier. They have ranked as the most popular small dog since, 20, since 2006. Now let's look at why they're so look, so good to own. They're they're small. They don't take up much room. They don't shed. Um, you don't have to bring them to the groomers. You can take scissors and cut the bangs yourself or comb the hair back here. Um, so you save money there. What's well, another thing? They match your energy level, and they're terrifically, outrageously loyal to you. When you get one, you'll know why they're number one.